Losing semi-finalists in the Skull Cup matches in midweek. But this, of course, is a very important match for both sides. And Cammy Duncan makes the first save of the match from Graham Harvey. And Cammy Duncan has recovered from the heavy knock he took in the semi-final against Rangers on Wednesday night to take his usual place in goal for Motherwell. So a free kick given by referee McGilvery to Motherwell. The challenge for the high ball adjudged unfair. So it's Tom Boyd, the Motherwell captain, who wants to take a short one to Russell. Slighted in now by Russell. Up goes Craig Patterson, beat the ball by Smith. Farningham back to Fraser Wishart. And Tosh McKinley nods it away for the Motherwell throw. So Motherwell languishing near the foot of the Premier Division. So it really is very important for them to do well in home matches, particularly against sides which may also be under some pressure. Dundee after that very good start, struggling a little. So two crucial points at stake. And that comes off Vince Many back to goalkeeper Geddes. So one or two adjustments also in the Dundee ranks. Keith Wright is out of the side. Graham Harvey playing up front with Tommy Coyne. There's McGeeky's forward ball cut off by Philibin. This is Shannon back after missing the midweek game through suspension. And an accurate pass back from Philibin to Dunk. Russell chipping it into the middle, but it's McGeeky who comes across to cover for Dundee. Put under pressure by Smith. Mother will have the loose ball again. Here's Philibin. Gagan brought down heavily by McGeeky and the referee McGilvery undoubtedly has had a great deal of work in the opening five or six minutes. Well, Gagan going to receive this pass, trying to go outside his marker. McGeeky coming in in totally committed fashion and that certainly was a clear free kick. And indeed, the referee McGilvery taking a more severe line. He's administering a yellow card for the first time in the match. Craig Patterson, number four in the box for Philibin's free kick. Headed away by Glenny, straight to Russell. This is Wishart. Russell tackled by Shannon. And down goes Wishart. The offender was Tosh McKinley. So another free kick to Motherwell. Again, being played very much in staccato fashion at the moment. Lots of free kicks breaking up the play. There's Russell towards the far post. Patterson challenging. Turned back across by Smith. The ball is still in play. Now Harvey linking with McKinley on the break. John Philibin going across to cover the central defence. Boyd back to Philibin. McAdam. Now Patterson. Calming things down for Motherwell. So tricky sunlight for the Motherwell keeper, Cammy Duncan, in the first half. Headed on by Gagan. Here's Smith. Good play by Paul Smith and fairly couldn't reach it. What a great chance that was for Motherwell. They've had a very impressive start to the match and that was set up by the running power of Paul Smith on the left getting the legs of Tim Smith to go towards the byline and firing the ball across the bows of Bobby Geddes, fairly sliding in just six inches out of range. <laughs> Up goes Wishart. Paul Smith, fairly's in space, he's onside, played on by McGeeky over on the far side. Away from Chisholm, a great chance now for Motherwell as Fairley plays it back. And Russell shot, turned behind by Geddes. Fine piece of play that again from Motherwell. It was Smith who released Fairley on the right. He was played onside by McGeeky in the right back position for Dundee. Away from Chisholm, pulling it back to Russell. The shot may have been going wide, but Geddes took no chances. by McAdam, get is under pressure, fouled by Fairley. Well, a goalkeeper's life is certainly a difficult one. So Bobby Geddes 
Took a heavy blow there from Jamie Fairley. The cross ball coming in, helped on by McAdam. Geddes appeared to have things under control. Fairley coming in, looking for an error. A bit reckless with the challenge. The goal chopped off, of course, and Geddes requires treatment. Philibin. Here's Fairley. Tackled by Chisholm. Helped on by Paul Smith for Gagan to chase. Down goes Gagan. Appear to be fouled by McGeeky. The referee gives a corner kick. And Gagan certainly again causing problems. Sprinting forward onto that pass from Paul Smith. Coming inside the penalty area. Tangling with McGeeky. Tumbling to the ground. And referee McGilvery right on the spot gives the corner. Gagan's corner. Headed away by McGeeky. This is Russell. Our post ball's a good one from McAdam. And it's nodded away by Smith. The Dundee defence under siege for the moment. More all anxious to cash in on their early superiority in the match. So Gagan will take the kick. McAdam is up in the box with Patterson. Punched away by Geddes. Boyd. Fine effort by the Motherwell captain. Just put a foot over the top. It came from the corner kick, which was fisted out by Bobby Geddes straight to Boyd, who took it on the drop and thundered that just over the bar. So Dundee with Jim Smith, Gordon Chisholm and Bobby Glenny in their central defending threesome. Brown plays it inside. There's Patterson back to Brown. Skimming the crossbar. And some slackness in the Motherwell defence. Allowing the ball to come back there to John Brown. He appeared to have lost his chance. And that looked as though Duncan got a touch, but the referee has given the goal kick. Harvey's in the clear. Craig Patterson going across. The chance for Dundee. Still Harvey. Well, he appeared to be caught in two minds going into the box. He had help inside from Shannon and Coyne. We're at the midway point in the first half as Gagan comes inside to release Wishart on the right. Now Russell. Stepping away from Brown. Still Russell. Russell again with a chip shot. Brilliantly played by Russell. The save by Geddes. Marvellous football, that from Motherwell. There was an offside flag up, I think, in any event. But look at this play here from Russell. Coming inside John Brown, setting himself up, using Fairley as a decoy as he sprinted to the right. Then seeing Geddes off his line, chipping the ball forward. And what a superb save it was from a Dundee keeper. Chisholm taking the ball from Fairley. But giving it straight to Russell. Fairley and Smith, the only two men up for Motherwell. Tosh McKinley for Dundee. Coin towards Harvey, a great chance for Dundee. And that's the opening goal. It was brilliantly set up, but Harvey has had several half chances in the match so far. Made no mistake that time. Played inside by McKinley. It was Coyne who set it up for Harvey into space. Duncan racing off his line, but Harvey judged it well to steer the ball in at the post. Jim Smith's header. Many. By Geeky. High ball being preferred by Dundee at the moment. And Coyne and Harvey are turning a few of these into good balls. And Tosh McKinley almost cashed in in the error. Well, that would have been disastrous for Motherwell. The high ball came in from many. Duncan appeared to have things under control, diving to take the ball. But then he collided with Wishart. The loose ball fell to McKinley. And the shot goes just wide. Oh. McKinley to coin. No question that Dundee have asserted themselves since that 
opening goal, 10 minutes from half time. Although they appeared to have control earlier in the match, now struggling a little, although this attack building up through Russell. Brown wins it for Dundee. Patterson intercepts. Fairly reacts quickly enough to use Wishart at right back. Careless one from Wishart from Chisholm and it's blocked by Craig Geddes. The shot was from Bobby Russell and it was Gordon Chisholm who was the most relieved Dundee player of field at that moment. A careless casual header, Russell with a first time shot and a good save by Geddes. So the goal kick by Bobby Geddes, the last kick of the first half, which Motherwell dominated initially, but then they were made to pay after 35 minutes. A good, simple and efficient move from Dundee. McKinley to coin into the path of Graham Harvey, steering the ball wide of Duncan for the only goal of the first half. So it's Motherwell nil, Dundee won. So Dundee start the second half, reflecting perhaps that they are a shade fortunate to be ahead on the balance of play in the first half both of these sides lost at home last week in the league so for Motherwell in particular there's a very important 45 minutes ahead they can't afford to lose home matches in such regularity so they will have to make a major effort in this second half to not only to get back in terms but to try to win both points as Paul Smith sprints forward he's stopped by Chisholm a huge divot out of the turf as Chisholm is sent spinning by Paul Smith and the new Dundee defender taking some time to recover. Smith is being spoken to by referee McGilvery for a high late challenge. She appeared to catch Chisholm on the right ankle. The creative play entrusted to Bobby Russell. Kagan has come deep. Towards Paul Smith. McKinley's clearance collected by Wishart. Glenny to Brown. Glenny calls for the ball back. That's one for Harvey to chase. A good defending by Philibin until he was caught in two minds and conceded that corner kick. His positioning was excellent, John Philibin, but. When you reach the ball, that's when his trouble started. So, ten minutes into the second half. And Dundee prepare for the corner kick. Gordon Chisholm going forward. And he'll be on that near post, I think. For many's corner kick. Philip at full stretch. There's McGeeky. Up with McAdam. It's all a bit ragged in defence at the moment for Motherwell. Tom McAdam giving some encouragement to his colleagues. 33 years old now. There's McKinley. Duncan's in trouble. And it's off the underside of the ball by Coyne and still judged over the line by the linesman. The goal's been given. 11 minutes into the second half. And Cammy Duncan is the victim of that error from the corner kick. The Motherwell player still protesting to the linesman that the ball was not over the line. But Duncan missed the corner kick. It broke then to coin. His shot hit the underside of the bar, broke. Graham Harvey was challenging the ball under the crossbar again. And the linesman signaled the goal. And it's accepted by referee McGilbrey. Gagan calls to the ball. Ran straight into McKinley. Well, there's a free kick against McKinley, and that, for my money, was debatable in itself. But now there's to be a booking for the young Dundee number three. And it must be for persistent infringements, but I really must confess that I had some sympathy with him on that occasion. Gagan coming inside appeared to run straight into McKinley. The Dundee player could do little else, I think, but stand his ground. But nevertheless, he's been booked. Oh, 
Tom McAdam now with the free kick. Fairly lays it back. That's Farringham. And Geddes was almost in trouble. Smith came in quickly. A good recovery that from Bobby Geddes. Farringham shot didn't carry much power, but Geddes made something of a meal of that. Well, strikes headed. Here's Harvey getting in behind Patterson and the long leg of the Motherwell centre back stretching out to play it back to to Duncan. Patterson. This is Boyd. Russell has found space in midfield. Gagan calling for the ball on the far side, but it's McKeeke who intercepts easily. Well, it's a performance now which must be causing great anxiety to the Motherwell manager, Tommy McLean. Here's Wright. Gagan. Going inside for the cross, but Glenny's there with the firm-headed clearance. Gagan retrieves it. Certainly can't be fault of her effort for Motherwell, John Gagan. Paul Smith back to Russell. This is better from Motherwell. And now Wishart. Well taken by Geddes. That was good goalkeeping. A much better move from Motherwell. Working the ball from midfield. Russell playing it wide. Fraser Wishart breaking into the box. Driving that ball low across goal. And it's well held by Geddes. And that was how it finished. Two points for Dundee, a nice start for the club's new chairman, Angus Cook. His takeover of the club was assured last week with the purchase of 19,000 of Ian Gunnatley's shares. Jock asked Mr Cook what his priorities were now that he'd achieved what he called a life's ambition. Well, OK, Jock. Uh, that ambition has been achieved to become the chairman of Dundee Football Club. But obviously, there's a hell of a lot to do and a hell of a lot to look into. Uh, I would like to at this moment in time, gather my thoughts and have a good look at what's happening in the club and I'll take it from there.